Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one we ask help, mercy, forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the bad deeds of ourselves and the evil of our souls. We will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide it, will never be misguided. But whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala misguide, leave them to be straight, abandon them, leave them to be in charge of their own self, they will never be guided, they are no serious trouble. I bear witness there is no Lord or deity worthy to be worshipped, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one and only one, and Muhammad peace be upon him, his servant, his messenger, the best and purest of Allah's creation. The face of glad tidings, the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> As to follow respected brothers and sisters, honorable believers, dear elders, the best greetings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all of you and upon all the bright faces that came to prostrate, make sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one and only one deserving of your sujood, and to all the sincere hearts that finds comfort, happiness, satisfaction, content, trust, success with Had al Adim, success with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where there is absolutely no success in this dunya and in the hereafter without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today's khutbah, it is about a matter that concerns each and every one of us. It does not matter what's your age. It is about a matter that really makes you or breaks you. It is about a matter that really matters. And that's called a tawbah, repentance. If we talk about repentance every week, it's not enough. It is not enough at all because we wouldn't be here today if we are not repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people think that we have to repent only when we do ma'asi, when we do evil deeds and sins. Repentance required when you do sins. Repentance required when you do good and it's not good enough. Repentance required when you do perfect. Even if you do perfect, you need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the proofs from the Holy Quran will come soon in the khutbah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who's Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Muhammad, the engineer of happiness and the champion of success, told us, Sumu tasuhu, fast you'll be healthy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Tubu tuflihu, repent, you will achieve success. So one of them, you will achieve health. The other one, you will achieve success and true success in this dunya and in the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared in the Holy Quran, calling you believers. See, there is a call for those who are sinners. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Those call for the sinners. Say to my servant, those who transgressed against themselves, do not be hopeless of the mercy of Allah. But a call for the believers. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَفْلِحُونَ A call for the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَتُوبُوا It's a command. It's an order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Repent to Allah, all of who you believe, and you wonder, why? Why should we repent, ya Allah? لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ A guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. True remedy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to our hearts. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So you may achieve success, falah, and that means falah in this dunya and falah in the hereafter. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us also a happy news. It is not an exemption. It is just a happy news and a bushra. It has no expiry date from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, At-ta'ib bin al-dhan kaman la dhanbala. Those who repent from a sin as if they never committed it. The shaytan, na'udhu billah min, will trick you and trap you. Many times, as long as we have a heartbeat, even if you are dying, if you are in sakarat al still the shaytan after you. So the shaytan will trick us and trap us, and then once you fall into ma'asi and sins, 
The shaitan will make it for you as if Allah would never accept your repentance. And if you repent, the shaitan will come to you to make you doubt that repentance, that tawbah, would make you doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted from you. Never doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. If I ask you, what do you love? You say, I love a good house. What do you love? Good children. What do you love? A very fancy car. What does Allah love? Allah loves a tawami. Allah loves those who keep repenting. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by telling us and affirming and confirming At-ta'ib min al dhan kaman la dhan bala Allahu Akbar power. By the way, Muslims, we have the strongest weapon on earth and that is At-tawbah, repentance. It makes you an outstanding person in this dunya if you keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are four conditions for the tawbah. Al-iqla' an al-dhan, quitting the sin. Feeling sorry about the ma'asiyah, feeling sorry about that germs, because sins they are germs. And the third condition, to intend not to go back to the sin. You hate going back to the sin as much as you hate being thrown into the fire. But again, if you go back, keep going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and suddenly you fall again into the sea of sins. Grab the rope of Allah, the rope of repentance, stand, never make sujood to the shaitan, and go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter how huge and repeated your sins, keep going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fourth condition, the ulama says, that if it's a matter of haquq al-ibad, the rights of the people, to settle that, to compensate that, so if happened to be a matter of you taking some person's wealth or money or property or certain things to do with حقوق العباد, the rights of people, to settle that with them. Dear brothers and sisters, often we see a calamity and hardship, often we see difficulties and turbulence in our life, often we see certain suffering in our life. The Sahaba say, the pious companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By the way, live this dunya with addiction. We need that addiction, and that is being addicted of saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the Sahaba say, ما نزل بلاء إلا بذن ولا رفع إلا بتوبة. When a calamity comes down, the Sahaba say, it's because of sins. When a calamity and hardship and musibah and an urdu, musibah, comes down, it is because of sins, only it can be lifted when we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you check your life and scan your life, you monitor your life day in, day out, if you are among those who are repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the heart and the tongue, not only that, the shaitan will come and trick you that your tongue is moving and you say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. You say that 5,000 times, but your heart is not paying attention. Don't worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always paying attention. And the heart would rotate with the tongue. Repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you check the Holy Quran and you find the verses of repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's always followed with good deeds. So you can't just repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stand still. No. We need to do good deeds after repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So check that out in your life. That once you do a small germ or a huge germ, because ma'asi they are germs. The noob they are germs. Some of them contagious. Once you do that, make sure you follow. And once we do that, because all of us sinners. That's what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said. كل ابن آدم خطاء. وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, All the son of Adam, that means me and you, they are khatta'. Khatta' it means they are prone to sin. It means continuously we sin. And the best among the sinners, وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ The best among the sinners, those who keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we need 
to keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mentioning the repentance in our tongue, astaghfirullah, 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 and there's the also Sayyid of Istighfar, also to follow our repentance with a'mal saliha, even if it's small, but always follow your repentance with a'mal saliha. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad, the engineer of happiness, the champion of success, the best of Allah's creation, the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gave us a promotion and a great hope and a great mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this hadith. Promotion to keep repenting. It is not promotion, promotion to keep sinning. No. Look at the hadith. لو لم تذنبوا لذهب الله تعالى بكم جميعا ولجاء بقوم يذنبون فيستغفرون الله فيغفر لهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم told us this hadith and you need to engrave it in your heart if you are not committing sins Allah would remove you all means Allah would get rid of us all and then would bring people who their nature Committing sins, then they ask Allah for repentance, not just committing sins, no. Yudnibuna fayastaghfirun Allah fayaghfir lahum. Their nature that they keep re keep sinning, but they keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking Allah's forgiveness, and Allah would forgive them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive them. And I'll give you this happy news from the Holy Quran. If we keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about any particular sin, because sometimes we have a combo of ma'asi, sometimes we are addicted with one or two, but if you keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and speaking of combo, by the way, if a person, thief, and he's drinking, he repent from Allah, he repent from stealing, Allah accept that partial repentance. But he's still drinking, Allah accept that partial repentance and insha'Allah hopefully Allah will grant their heart a tawbat al nasuha a complete repentance so a gradual repentance it is also accepted because the shaitan will tell you you're not going to repent to Allah finish all this combo of sins clear yourself then repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no if you happen to be in that weakness if you happen to be in that dhu'af repent to Allah gradually subhanahu but the happy news, if you are addicted with certain ma'asiyah, the one that's grabbing the ma'asiyah always, always, always the heart. No matter where you think it is practiced, no matter how you practice that, the one that addicted with that sins, with that ma'asi, it is always the heart. And if you keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from that particular ma'asiyah, listen what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do for you. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَحُولُ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَقَلْبَهِ Once you practice tawbah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make a division, would make a barrier between you and that particular sin. So that means that sin cannot attack you. That germs cannot reach you would never affect you. The ma'asiyah that you've been practicing, the ma'asiyah that degrading you, the ma'asiyah that demolishing you, the ma'asiyah that affecting your life and not making you progress and succeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put a barrier between your heart. Inna Allah yahulu Allah would put a division, a barrier between your heart and that lust or that ma'asiyah. Look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala interested to forgive our sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala interested to forgive us and to accept our repentance. مَا أَحْلَمَ اللَّهُ عَنِّي حَيْثُ أَمْهَلَنِي وَقَدَّ مَا دَيْتُ فِي ذَنْبِي وَيَسْتُرْنِي أنا الذي أغلق الأبواب مجتهدا على المعاصي وعين الله تنظرني. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to be aware of something called satanic repentance. توبة الشيطان. How? Yusuf عليه السلام, when his brothers ganged, teamed up, 
to harm him and get rid of him. The shaitan gave them a plan. But before the plan, the shaitan told them, prepare their repentance. The shaitan prepared a satanic repentance. The shaitan told them, kill him, get rid of him, and then repent. And then repent. Look at that. There's a difference here. The crime first and then repent. This is called satanic repentance. It is a total difference between a person falling into sins, falling into trouble, falling into ma'asi, then repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then falling again, then repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But not like a shaitan coming to you and telling you, you know, go to that person, give him a nice hit with a baseball bat in his head, and then you will repent to Allah. Totally wrong. This is called satanic repentance. Never be fooled by the shaitan. Take a look, my dear brothers and sisters, at this story. Take a look at this particular scenario. And this particular event should give me and you a hope, always. Hope with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never lose hope with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never, ever. No matter how huge or how repeated our sins. Never lose hope with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always think good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At a time, in the old days, people used to go to caravan, I mean to hajj by caravan, traveling through the desert with camels, whatever means and ways, to get to Mecca. Their most fear it is not the heat of the sun, their most fear is not the animals that they may attack them, but their most fear, the human animals. Those who come and attack them, take their food, take their money, take their life. And that's what happened to a caravan going to Hajj, attacked by gangs. Some of them ran away, some of them escaped, some of them got killed. One person captured, and this person captured tied down why? So he could tell where is the gold and the silver is hidden. Where is the food? Where is, you know, a guide. This innocent man, this victim, noticed that everyone eating. All the gangs, they are eating except one person. All of them enjoying the food that they robbed from this caravan except one person. And that person happened to be the leader of the crooks. Akramakum Allah. May Allah honor you all, my dear brothers and sisters. The leader of the gangs, he is not eating. So this victim, innocent man, asked the leader, why don't you eat? Everyone is eating, why don't you eat? He said, Ana sa'im, I am fasting. What? Fasting? You killed us, you robbed us, you took our money, you prevented us from hedge fasting. What are you talking about? The leader of the gangs answered back by saying, Ya Jahil, O oh, ignorant man, Ya Jahil, shouldn't I leave a door open between me and Allah? So one day I will enter through the door of fasting, repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us leave some doors between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how huge is our sins, no matter how repeated our sins, no matter how filthy our germs, we need to leave doors open between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? So we may achieve success, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Repent to Allah all, all who you believe. Why, Ya Allah? Why? لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ so you may achieve success. So this is a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will gain success. But we need to hook our repentance. We need to attach our repentance with a'mal salih, with doing good deeds. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا إِنَّهُ نُورُ السَّمَاتُ وَالْعَمَرُ الرَّحِيمِ الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين جزا الله محمد عنا بما هو أهلا Dear brothers and sisters, honorable believers, the topic about Tawbah it is an ongoing, it's huge, we talk about it every day, it's not enough, 
But we need to repent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day continuously and never give up on ourselves. Remember the man who came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam three times in different timing. The hadith does not say the first time he came when, the second time maybe after a month, after a year, but the same man coming to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam three times and every time telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Adnabdi ya Rasulullah, I committed a sin of Prophet of Allah. Every single time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave the same answer. Tub il Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knows that this is the same person. He said to him every time, Tub il Allah. Never fiddled with his sins. Never exposed him. Islam is about sitter, about covering. Never told him, tell me from A to Z. No, he just right away told him, Tub il Allah. Repent to Allah. The third time the person said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ya Rasulullah. Till when, O Prophet of Allah, and this answer came from Prophet Wasallam. It is a mercy to our dunya, to our heart. When Rasulullah said, Hatta yakun shaytan huwa al Until the shaytan is the defeated one. So we keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till the shaytan is the defeated one. The shaytan trick you and trap you and you fall down. That never makes you due to the shaytan. Never makes it due to the shaitan. Grab the robe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stand repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Robert brothers and sisters, dear believers, the poet who said, اليوم ميلادي الجديد وما مضى موت بليت به بليل داجي أنا قد سريت إلى الهداية عارجا يا حسن ذي الإسراء والمعراج Today is my new birth and what's past a death I have encountered in a very dark night. I march to the guidance of Allah. What a beautiful way. What a beautiful path. Keep marching to the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the tawbah, to the repentance, and you will have that delicious taste of falah, of success. Delicious taste of making sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters, dear believers, I mentioned in the beginning of the khutbah that some people think that we need to repent only because we are sinners when we do evil deeds. But you need to repent also when we do good but not good enough. And we need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we also do perfect. When we do perfect. But I will explain this soon. I want to mention one particular verse. In this verse, it's mentioned that those who kill, those who, those, وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخر, Those who does not, those who associate also someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who does that, associating someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shirk and killing and fornication, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised them with severe punishment and humiliation, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes in the verse and telling illa وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرْ وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ وَلَا يَزْنُونَ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَ أَثَامًا يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ ويخلد فيه مهانا إلا من تاب إلا من تاب وآمن وعمل عملا صالحا فأولئك يبدل الله سيئاتهم حسنات وكان الله غفورا رحيما See, major sins. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised major punishment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes and says, Illa man tab. Except those who repent. And they do good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Fa'ulaika yubaddilu Allahu sayyatihim hasanat. Wa kana Allahu ghafuran rahima. Thus, Allah would exchange their evil deeds to a good deeds. So what's against them becomes a credit for them. So let us repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The final things I would like to mention about repentance. 
those who do good but not good enough. You are donating for the masjid $500, but you could give $5,000 without even noticing it. If $5,000 is missing from your account, you will not even notice it. Well, I sat with a person who told me that if he miss a million dollar, if million dollar taken from his bank account, he would not notice. A million dollar, he would not notice. Some of us, if it's $5,000 taken from their bank account, they will not notice. And then we come and we give the masjid a hundred dollar. This is good, alhamdulillah, but this is not good enough. That goodness, we need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for doing that good, but not good enough. But what about if we do perfect? Do we need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yes. Where is the proof? It's in the Holy Quran. When Ibrahim alayhi salam with his son, may Allah send the peace and blessing upon them, built the Kaaba, built the house of Allah, not built this masjid, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not only built the Kaaba, wa Ibrahim alladhi waffa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, wa Ibrahim alladhi waffa, waffa means he did even more than what Allah asked him to do, means he made extra. What did he say after doing perfect and more than perfect? What did he say? He said, wa arina manasikana wa tub alayna. Ibrahim alayhi salam, after doing perfect and more than perfect, building the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did not flex his muscles and boost, no. He said, wa arina manasikana wa tub alayna. Show us how to worship you better and accept our repentance. But of course, the repentance of the prophets, it is a form of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's totally different than our repentance. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, if we happen to be among those who are addicted with sins, be addicted with tawbah. Keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The shaitan will come and tell you, who are you fooling? Do you want to fool Allah? Hasha'an lillah. No one can fool Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will be only fooling the shaitan when the shaitan keep tricking you and you keep running to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By the way, this particular practice, it is favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whenever you are the victim of the shaitan, you don't make sujood to the shaitan. You don't give up on yourself. You don't give up on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you remember what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Say to my servant those who transgressed against themselves means big sinners heavy duty type of sinners do not be hopeless of the mercy of الله لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله Engrave that in your heart لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله Do not give up of the mercy of الله Allah forgives all sins. Allah is the most forgiving, most merciful. My dear brothers and sisters, honorable believers, rest assured, you could never ever survive and thrive in this dunya. Survive and thrive in this dunya without keep repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, Rabba Mustami'an khayran mutakallim. It might be a listener much better than a speaker. اللهم اهدنا في من هدي وعافنا في من عافين ارحم المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم الأموات اللهم شاف مرضانا اهدي ذريتنا اللهم حينا حياة طيبة اللهم تقبل توبتنا اللهم انصر اخواننا المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم انصرهم في سوريا اللهم ثبتهم في سوريا اللهم استر عورتهم وآمن روعتهم اللهم تقبل موتاهم شهداء اللهم اجمع محبابهم بالفردوس العالم غير سابق عذاب اللهم دمر عداءهم عداءك عداء الدين اللهم يا الله you love forgiveness اللهم grant us your forgiveness اللهم guide our children اللهم heal our loved ones اللهم grant us the good life you promised in the Holy Quran يا رب العالمين accept our repentance اللهم guide our heart continuously to repent اللهم make our brothers and sisters wherever they are oppressed اللهم make them victorious اللهم make them victorious in Syria اللهم accept their murders اللهم accept their murders 
in paradise, Ya Rabbal Alameen, and unite us with them in paradise. Allahumma destroy their enemy, Ya Rabbal Alameen, the enemy of Islam. Ya Rabbal Alameen, Ameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbal Alameen. Wa salatu salam, Sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Wa salatu kama alhamdulillah.